everybody and welcome to Totally Trendy. Hi, my name is Sam and today we are challenging ourselves as we kind of tend to do in every video, <laughs> but today I am going to try and make DIYs for animes that I have never seen. I don't think I've actually seen an anime ever, maybe? No, I really don't think I have. And in the past on this channel, I've made merch, DIYs, and crafts for some of my favorite TV shows and movies movies, etc. But I thought it'd be a fun challenge to try and make a DIY for a show I've never seen. So what I'm gonna do is go around to a few people in the studio who I think watch animes and ask them for their favorite anime and a little synopsis of what that anime is and then I'll do a little bit of research and then it's go time to try and pick a DIY that I think is relevant to that anime. Hopefully I don't pick like the most obscure thing to DIY with the anime. It'll be interesting so we are in for quite the ride let's go ask some people what their favorite anime is so I'm gonna go ask Noah because I feel like she watches anime I don't know she's just like one of those cool people to where I'm like I'm sure she's doing all the like cool kid things that I am just unaware of so that's Noah <laughs> let's go and here we have Noah Hello. Noah introduce yourself I'm Noah yeah, see, <laughs> exactly what I was talking about. Today I'm making a video where I'm making some DIYs mm -hmm. based off of anime shows that Ooh. I've never seen. I don't watch that much anime, but okay. I watched one as a kid, Sailor Moon. See, okay, that's one I've heard of, yeah. but I've never watched. Oh my gosh, you should watch it. Okay, perfect. Well, I will look into it and see what I can DIY. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sailor Moon. In Tokyo, a middle school student named Usagi, question mark, befriends Luna, a talking black cat who gives her a magical brooch, enabling her to become Sailor Moon. A pretty moon soldier destined to save the earth from forces of evil, Luna the black cat and Usagi assemble a team of fellow sailor soldiers to find their princess and silver crystal. Okay, cool. Girls defending the world. Great. Oh man, I know, I think I know what we're gonna do. I have a very simple idea. So I think we are going to make Luna into a pillow. I got this idea because I like to upcycle things from previous videos. If you guys remember the $10 DIY challenge, I'm pretty sure it was in that video. I kept the pillow that I put on top of it. I kept it because I knew I would repurpose it at some point. And I think this is perfect. If we like make this black, add little ears and a very, very simple, like with the moon symbol, like right there, I think that would be such a cute pillow. Instead of getting fabric, I am going to use this sweatshirt. Let's lay this all out and I'll explain you how I'm gonna cover this with this. This is what I'm going to do. I am going to take this sweater and I'm gonna put the pillow inside to just kind of make sure we have enough fabric. Okay, what I'm going to do is cut kind of the parameter of this rectangle because this is gonna be the fabric that we are covering this pillow with. And don't worry, this is gonna go away in a second. So now that I have it trimmed better, these edges don't have to be perfect because once we hot glue it, we are gonna turn this inside out. So this is the material that's gonna be on the outside of the pillow. So you can turn it inside out. So let's just kind of start hot gluing. And here we are. So here's our little rectangle so far. Now we put the pillow in nice and snug. Perfect. Oh wow, this is so soft. Now I just need to close it off. And oh goodness, you scared me. I'm making a pillow. Hey guys, full common office is here. Everyone pop in camera, say hi. Here we have Woods, remember him? He's changed. I'm an astronaut now. <laughs> what a nice little unprompted and unexpected family yeah. reunion. So then we're gonna hot glue the corners. If you want to, you can also hot glue it to the pillow itself. So now we just need to add the ears. And in an effort to continue to reuse things, let's just use these little sleeves. We are gonna do kind of the same hot glue method and I am gonna fill it with some polyfill so they are fluffy as well. Now I'm gonna use this craft foam to kind of like cut a stencil for how big I think they should be. They're definitely pointed, but also round like that way and then that way, perfect. So now that we have our little stencil, we are going to cut out some fabric. Here we have one ear and we are just gonna flip it kind of the other direction and cut out the exact same pattern. So the 
ears are attached and now I'm not gonna do the eyes. I feel like it would be cuter and a little more minimalistic if I just did the little moon buddy. So I am going to trace this circle here. A Sailor Moon Luna cat pillow. That's pretty cute. It's time to go show Noah. I'm so excited. Noah, step on in. Oh, yeah. Are you ready to see what Sailor Moon thing I DIY I did? I uh, am. Oh, no. Close your eyes. Three, two, one, open. <gasps> That's so cute. It's a little pillow. Oh my god. Luna, right? Luna. Yeah. <laughs> but there you go. You have your own Luna pillow. You can take it's it. Mine? To your office. Yeah. Oh, guys, see, this is what DIY is all about. <laughs> She was like literally teary-eyed. I can't. I have to keep it just for a little bit longer so I can take a thumbnail with it. LOL. But it is time to ask for another coworker's favorite anime so we can like get another moment like that. Like, oh my goodness. So let's go ask CJ. He is in his office right now and I feel like I've heard him talk about some in passing so maybe he'll have a good one for me. We'll see. Uh, Hi. Hey. Mondays, am I right? Haha. <laughs> What's so. up? So, CJ, yeah. I am making some DIYs, as always, for TV shows, as always, but they're gonna be for animes that I've oh. never seen before. So, what I need from you is to give me an anime show that I can make a craft for. Have Don't you tell me. Have gone yet? No, I haven't gone to anyone yet. What is your favorite I anime? I have two. I like Dragon Ball Z, but I also like Naruto. I'm pretty okay. hardcore about it. I'm not just like basic level. I just wanted to get that across for anyone who's gonna <laughs> comment about it. I know a lot about it. Um, <laughs> So I'm Hardcore gonna say fan. Naruto, I feel like there's a lot more options there. A lot of characters. I've never seen an episode of that show. Well, I'll make a little DIY for you. Thanks. I'll be back. Now onto CJ's favorite, Naruto. I don't remember ever seeing episodes of this. One of my brothers watched it, but I really have no context, but let's see. It tells the story of Naruto Uzumaki, a young ninja who searches for recognition from his peers and also dreams of becoming the Hokage, the leader of his village. Okay, so like the headbands are kind of an iconic thing, I guess. What if I made CJ one, but I put the Battle Universe logo on it? I think we just found our DIY. Okay, so first things first, I am going to make kind of the metal headpiece. Now, because this is something that is going to be going on your head, I know the aluminum look would look better, but I'm going for something a little more comfortable. So I'm going to use craft foam and I have this like metallic acrylic paint and I'm gonna paint a chunk of it out. So first, let's just kind of feel for the size that we want. I feel like a good size would be maybe like six inches. I feel like that's a good, good place to start. And if we're wrong, well, we still have a lot of crap foam. <laughs> That's pretty good. So now let's paint this. Before we paint this, I do want to kind of sketch in the Battle Universe logo. There we go. So now that we have the main piece done, which in my opinion looks pretty darn good, we are going to find some sort of like headband fabric to attach it to. So we'll figure something out. So I just cut some strips together. We are going to put this on the center right here and that'll kind of cover that seam a little bit. And then he can just tie it behind his head. This is coming together nicely, I think, because I truly had no idea what I was gonna do for this one. I feel like this is good. It is time to reveal it to CJ. I told him to come in here, let's see. Come take a seat, put your hands out in front of you. I feel like I know where this is going, but let's, let's see. Open. I knew it! <laughs> Yo! It's, oh, it's, it's, Dude! It's, 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 and I did the Battle Universe logo instead of the Dude, other this one. is actually sick! <laughs> is that something from the show? Yeah, it's kind of like a song. I got a mission to do, so I'll be back. I don't know what um, that means. I, it's an A-rank mission, guys. You know what I'm talking about. I'm out! I don't know what that means. I was hoping he would do that. 
I just heard CJ bragging about it. Who were you bragging yeah. to? Yeah. Hey, what's up? He was like, oh, you got the uh, logo yeah. on I was there. like, that's so ridiculous. Yeah. That's so sick. Thanks, Alex. Yeah. No doubt, no doubt. I got a mission, dude. Stop okay. filming me, okay? Okay, okay. Well, I am so happy with how these DIYs turned out, especially considering I really still don't know what the shows are about all that much, but maybe I'll start watching them because seeing how happy these little DIYs made both Noah and CJ made me so happy. My heart was... Mm, so filled. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thought this challenge was fun. If you guys want to challenge me in the future with any other video, leave it in the comments down below and I will take a look at them. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.